Okay. Well, good evening. I've got uh, I've got seven o'clock straight up, so let's just uh, go ahead and uh, get started. This is the course orientation session for Management 351, Principles of Management. Uh, my name is David Wild. Uh, glad to have you uh, in the course, and uh, thank you all for being online this evening. I actually had a pretty good crowd uh, yesterday uh, for uh, the session. Um, and I've learned quite a bit about Google Meet uh, in the past day uh, or so. So uh, this one hopefully will go a little smoother. I, I was uh, not accustomed to, I've been in a lot of Google Meets, but not flying the ship. Uh, I, when I'm flying the ship, I'm, uh, I'm, more, I'm more accustomed to Zoom and some Zoom, Zoom controls. So bear with me. Uh, hopefully there will be, I could not teach computing. Hopefully there will be no cursing tonight uh, at my computer. But um, your juniors, your pros at uh, first first days of class, and so uh, what I'm going to do tonight is is uh, a little more uh, than the typical in class first day. Uh, what I'm going to do is just uh, do a quick run through of some highlights uh, from the syllabus, some information you need to know uh, that will be important for the semester. We'll spend then a, a good amount of time on the course calendar and explain uh, what, what you'll be doing uh, during the course of the semester and highlight uh, some important dates uh, coming up throughout the semester. And then we'll go into, um, into Connect itself. Uh, many of you have used Connect in, in other classes. Uh, this one, uh, actually this summer, uh, you caught a break uh, because typically there is an in-class presentation required uh, for this course, uh, being that this class is online, uh, totally uh, elected uh, to to not have y'all do this this semester. You can thank me at the end uh, with good evaluations. You can uh, put put on my professor that uh, you got a bargain here in the summertime. Uh, don't tell don't tell your friends who may have. Uh, uh, had to do the present the the management made real presentation in my class uh, before, but um, you you everything everything we do uh, for the in, entirety of the semester will be uh, done on Connect. All your grading activities, all your testing activities will be done on Connect. Uh, so uh, the last I checked was about uh, four thirty this afternoon. I had like nineteen of the 30 students enrolled in the class. Uh, so thank you. I did send out uh, the reminder um, just to make sure that everybody gets gets up and gets started uh, on Connect. Uh, it's easy to do so through Moodle. Uh, it's free. It's included with your textbook rental. As I said, it's a good deal because uh, I know from two sons having went to Louisiana Tech every time it was Connect or my lab, it was like, ooh, that's going to be a hundred and Twenty-five hundred fifty dollars. So, uh, so you get a deal with the uh, textbook rental, uh, and get you the ebook, and get you connect, and you don't have to get in line at textbook rental to uh, to pick things up. So, let me. What I'm going to do is uh, take my face off the screen, and I'm going to go to projecting, and I'll do the entire screen. Okay, uh, let's see. Okay, I'm presenting my screen. What I'm going to do, da, da, da. okay, I'm presenting the screen. Um, I'm, what I'm going to go to is, <laughs> there we go, there we go. Okay, it's, it's always a shock when it works right. Okay, here is the course syllabus. Uh, dare say the longest course syllabus you've encountered um, as of this point in your college career probably will be the record setting one uh, in terms of length uh, for the entirety of your undergraduate studies. But uh, um, there's, there's reason. Uh, for that and uh, go through a lot of explanation. I always go through a lot of explanation in the syllabus, but particularly with it being an online class, uh, it's especially important. Uh, <laughs> we we all had quite a semester uh, last semester, and uh, let's uh, let's all knock on wood to say that we will not have another 
whatever happened to our network uh, for a couple of weeks there uh, in the middle of the semester uh, ever happen again, and particularly this summer when you're taking online classes uh, and I'm teaching them. But uh, uh, it was a rough semester. Uh, it did necessitate a lot of schedule changing. One thing that I, I, I include, I, I started including this disclaimer uh, after my uh, my father passed away uh, at the beginning of a semester a few years back, uh, and I, I am dealing. Um, my mother has health issues at the moment, and a lot of the reason for teaching online, a lot of the reason for um, some flexibility in scheduling is uh, the 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 amount of time and work uh, that uh, that she's taking up uh, with with us and uh, and uh, selling her home. So if anybody's looking, if anybody yourself or parent might be a friend, might be looking for a house in uh, in Hammond, let me know. Um, basic information. Um, email is going to be the best way to get a hold of me during the course of the semester. Uh, I do have my office phone, do have the management office phone uh, there. Uh, my voicemail does not work in my office, so that's pretty fruitless. Uh, but uh, if you want to leave a, 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 a message with a person, with a real live human being, you can call the management office number at 2051. I encourage email because I am between teaching two online classes, uh, research that I'm doing with uh, uh, some colleagues and then uh, just managing uh, websites and uh, and then that social media thing. I'm online more than I would probably like to be, more than my wife like, would like for me to be, certainly. So, uh, so, um, but you can email me. I do check my email uh, numbers of times during the day. I do check on the weekend. So uh, if you have any issue that arises, uh, please email me first. Uh, class times, hey, this is 100% online. Uh, we don't, we didn't even have uh, a class time assigned for any possible in uh, in person orientation, uh, any possible uh, final exam in person, or anything like that. So, class times are all online. Office hours, and again, uh, I I can meet with you uh, if necessary in person uh, to to uh, with any uh, issues that, that may come up. Uh, preferably, uh, let's just do it virtually, make it easy on both of us, and uh, just give me give me 24 hours notice uh, so that um, so that I can um, arrange my schedule uh, uh, around around what you need. Um, some the interest so th this is this is a principles class, and for those of you that uh, this may be your first uh, principles of uh, principles class, ignore my dogs they're probably uh, gonna the two of them are probably out uh, patrolling the fence line to make sure there's no uh, no neighbors out walking or any uh, any other dogs out on the street um, but this is a uh, with principals classes it's it's a it's it's a one-shot look at everything and anything that's involved in management hopefully uh, it it conveys to you um, a lot of managerial ideas, a lot of very useful things that you can potentially apply in the future, even if you're not a manager, even if you're just working, uh, even if you're just, uh, you think, oh, I'm just doing a college job, or I'm, I'm, I, I, I'm doing what I need to do to get through school. You can apply some of this stuff right now, some very useful stuff on organizational behavior that we'll cover up front in terms of communication and motivation and leadership and teams and groups working together and uh, just some 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 I think every every chapter is going to have some ideas that uh, you can apply if not right now uh, at least uh, down the line and particularly if down the line uh, you uh, become a manager of some sort um, okay so the let's the, a lot of this is written up for uh, it, it it's it's good information. Uh, some of it's written up for our AACSB assessment, but uh, some good information there. Um, the textbook, and again, there is no physical textbook to get from textbook rental. I got a call today. Uh, I've had uh, I'm using an ebook for uh, both Management 351 and Management 425 International Business, and. Some students, um, not students online tonight, I'm sure, uh, wow. and dedicated and A students, uh, they, they went to textbook rental for a book. There is no 
physical book. It's uh, it's it's going to be the ebook version of Connect Master Management uh, by Lapine, the two Lapines, uh, and and we'll talk about how to access that here uh, in just a moment. Um, the grading scale uh, is the ten point must system: uh, 90, 80, 70, 60. Um, hopefully not below that. Um, sometimes can happen, but not, uh, not, not shouldn't, uh, especially the way this class is structured. Uh, now, the grading in here, I will say this. Uh, well, first off, if you printed off the syllabus as soon as the course became available, <laughs> very 8 o'clock yesterday morning, um, uh, the, I, I learned uh, once again the, uh, uh, the, the, some of the downsides of cutting and pasting, because uh, if, you, if you got the, uh, if you printed off the syllabus initially, uh, you the, this this t table was wrong. Uh, I uh, by eliminating the project, I hadn't uh, readjusted the point total. So uh, uh, so that was uh, that was an A minus job on my part. Uh, so this is the corrected syllabus that you're looking at, which is based on a thousand available points. And so whether you work it up by percentages or on a points basis, uh, it all works out the same. Uh, I will do grade sinks hopefully you're not hearing my dog drinking loudly okay um, <laughs> um that threw me off okay there are uh, there are a number of activities that you'll be doing to earn those grades and uh it, it uh, want to make sure that you're clear on on what's going to be required and how these are going to work um you're going to have six regular exams. Um, six exams is a lot. Uh, there is a method to my madness because uh, with a principal's class, you're thrown in uh, invariably with a lot of topics. And uh, if you look at uh, table three, what I have done with this class, and, it's, and it works out really beneficial to you, uh, <laughs> It, especially uh, is that uh, I, you know it, this is not a uh, three or four or a three or four test class uh, by breaking seventeen chapters down into six exams uh, because each of the chapters are going to have a it's a principles class they're going to have a lot of models a lot of terms uh, to learn um, a lot of you know the four characteristics of this or the, the three leadership qualities uh, that are important uh, based on uh, a particular leadership model. So there's a lot to be learned, uh, but to make it more manageable, that's why I have the six tests. And uh, so in the summer semester that last about eight weeks, it's, it goes by pretty fast. Uh, so, uh, but you'll notice that I've got three chapters on each of the tests except for the second test which is over communication and motivation. Uh, those seem like extra chunky uh, chapters. Uh, and so that I put them uh, uh, together as two. But you'll notice we cover the organizational behavior topics uh, really first uh, after getting through uh, the history of management. Uh, and then we go into um, the exam four is, is pairing together um, what goes on in the organization, what goes on globally, and then uh, ties in to not, not just diverse cultures, but diversity in, in today's domestic workforce. Uh, exam five is all on strategic um, thinking and management and innovation. And then exam six is uh, uh, kind of a catch-all with terms of organizational structure and design uh, and organizational culture, uh, human resource management, which is a huge topic today and uh, would encourage you to go on to take uh, a second class specifically in human resources uh, and uh, to, to learn more about the law uh, and some of the legal aspects uh, of, of management. And then, of course, traditionally, ethics is going to be the last chapter. Uh, but uh, all of this um, will be done over the course of the next, uh, the next six weeks. Uh, with the regular exams, uh, you're going to see that these are uh, structured um, so that they're, they're each worth 100 points. Uh, collectively, they're going to be um, worth 60% of, of your course grade. Um, so 
and he, I just saw another error there. Uh, that that should be sixty, not ten. Okay. <laughs> wow. Okay. Um, you will take six regular exams, and then on the final exam day for the class, you will take a comprehensive final. That'll be that'll be over seventeen, all seventeen chapters. I saw another error there. It's going to be worth twelve and a half percent, so a little more than uh, than just a normal exam. Um, and all of the exams uh, can be taken, well, they will be taken online in Connect. What I will do, let me go to the course calendar. Let me see if I can make a switch here. Uh, okay. 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 So, <laughs> Go ahead and switch to the course calendar. Hopefully, you're seeing it. I should do a check. Uh, but what I will do is um, with with the exams, I give you a 24 hour window in which to take the uh, e each of these exams. So if you'll notice here, I don't have anything to highlight. But uh, um, on a, on Thursday, a week from today, you'll be taking the first exam. That'll be over chapters. Excuse me, one, two, and seven. You'll have 24 hours to do that. It'll run from 12:01 a.m. to 11:59 p.m. Literally, <laughs> literally, um, you can uh, take the exam at any time during that 24-hour window. This works out really good if uh, your mean professors get together and schedule all your exams on the same days not as likely to be the case with the frequency of my exams but uh but it does happen and so it, it really frees you up with your work schedule with your study schedule with other uh class and work and personal activities uh to take the exam uh when it when it's good for you the exams you can take three times excuse me twice i'm sorry the exams you can take twice only the highest grade counts so you can you can take it once if you didn't score as well as you wanted to you can you can maybe study uh an hour two hours and then retake it and so if if you score higher on the second then uh, that's the grade that counts for you everything in connect is set for only the highest grade to count there is no penalty for taking uh, the exams, you can take up to twice. Chapter quizzes, you can take three times, uh, and then only the highest counts. And then the homework. There, there's. Uh, I'll go back to the. Um, uh, I'll go back to the um, um, syllabus here in a second. But uh, within homework, you've got homework, and then you uh, that are structured exercises. Uh, some very good learning reinforcement uh, that uh, I, I had some options putting these together. Uh, generally, they're going to be three or four activities like watch a, watch a video on the subject matter of the chapter, uh, answer a couple of questions about it, multiple choice. Uh, they may be some drag and drops like put the five levels of Maslow's hierarchy of needs in order uh, or some such. Uh, read a short case study a page in length, maybe uh, maybe shorter than that, answer a couple of multiple choice questions. So very approachable. You also have uh, the adaptive learnings. Uh, so, so, and then we'll talk about that more in a minute. Uh, all of those activities will be due at 11.59 p.m. the day before the exam, the day before the exam. So, uh, so do be aware of that. What I will do is each week I'll be sending out. Generally on the weekend, I'll send you kind of a uh, a look ahead uh, at the week coming up, just to make sure you're focused on uh, what you need to be, what's going to be important, uh, what are the, what are the deadlines uh, for you as uh, going forward, uh, so that you can know what to concentrate on uh, for the week. I also, for the first time, I added uh, this in. Um, I, I put in study tips so that uh, you could kind of, if, if you want to have intermediate goals to make sure that you are um, 
up to speed and and well prepared for uh, meeting the deadlines on the various activities for each chapter and then being prepared for the exam. I give you study tips in terms of if you want to be on pace, you know, like by Saturday, you should be working on chapter one. Uh, by Sunday the 4th, you should be working on chapter two. By Tuesday the 6th, you should be working on chapter seven. Uh, and in preparation for uh, submitting all of the homework uh, activities and the uh, three chapter quizzes, on chapters one, two, and seven before 11.59 p.m. on next Wednesday night. Yeah, I know, six days away. Uh, the summer gets by pretty fast. Uh, and then on Thursday the 8th, you'll have the 24-hour uh, exam window. I will say one more caution here about the 11.59 deadlines. Connect tr treats these as hard outs. They, uh, they if, if you are in progress on any of these activities, uh, be it just a homework, uh, be it a qu chapter quiz, be it an exam, if you're online at 1159 and you're not completed, it will just shut down where you are. So you do not want to be in a position to where you are, um, <laughs> you know, you're a quarter of the way done with uh, a, a, qu a chapter quiz, let alone an exam, and have 1159 and uh, suddenly it's just gonna it's gonna kick you out. And if you had twenty five percent or fifty percent of the of of, uh, of of the assignment or the quiz or the exam done, it'll calculate your grade uh, from that point. So that's 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 not going to be a favorable outcome uh, for you. Let me go back uh, talk a little more uh, syllabus. Uh, da -da -da -da. Okay, here we go. Okay, okay, so um, we, we've talked about the six regular exams. We've talked about the comprehensive final uh, a bit. We'll talk about that more when we go to directly to the course calendar for the remainder of the semester outlook. Uh, you've got 17 uh, chapter quizzes, one for each chapter of the book. Uh, those are going to be worth 15% of your course grade. And then finally, uh, on the homework side, uh, that'll be worth 12.5% of your course grade as well. There are 17 of these batched homework assignments. You know, uh, again, uh, maybe one video, one matching, one quiz, something like that uh, for each chapter. And then the 17 adaptive learning assignments. Um, if you if you haven't used Connect before, or if you use Connect and this, these weren't made available to you, these are very interesting. Uh, they are a way of, uh, in a sense, they are a guided reading of the chapter. And uh, students can, uh, I found from experience, students use them in one or two ways. You can do this very first thing before you even read the chapter. Uh, you can you use this as a way to read the chapter, and then what, what it's going to do is ask you questions based on what you've read. So if you read, you know, one section, it's going to ask you, you know, three, four, five questions over that section. Uh, and based on how you do, do all the questions, uh, it'll determine whether you have truly learned and mastered that material and allow you to move forward. Uh, so with that being said, um, I I had option I, I uh, with adaptive learnings. Uh, you you have options uh, from the professor administrative side on on how in depth these things go, how difficult these things are, how much time they take. I have I have set these on a, a rather low to medium setting. You can thank me for that later. Uh, but it shouldn't. It, it it should take you twenty, thirty, maybe forty minutes uh, to complete these based on the uh, the, the the particular chapter. Uh, and if you, uh, this is a cautionary note that if you are focused on these when you take when you're taking it, and can answer the questions correctly uh, from the reading, or if you've read the chapter already using this as a review tool, then you should breeze through. Uh, the cautionary note is if you're trying to take these connect these adaptive learning assignments in a <laughs> high distraction environment. Uh, if you've got multiple screens open, if you're uh, uh, carrying on a text conversation, 
um, posting on your phone, um, uh, you know, w talking on. If you're if you're doing multiple things, trying to follow uh, 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 the NBA Finals tonight, uh, and you're distracted, you start missing questions, and it ends up putting you in a feedback loop. And so it's going to be it is very critical to pay attention, and and your time on the task will be well spent. And it's a good learning activity, but if you're if you are distracted and you're not answering questions correctly, it can end up taking um, a consider uh, some to a lot longer uh, than than what's intended. So, uh, so do these in a in a low distraction environment. If you're going to be busy at work, if you're dealing with computers and customers and and phone calls and stuff, don't don't be trying to do one of these uh, while you're while you're uh, 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 distracted so just word 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 to the wise there okay so we progress through um and uh, I, I reiterate uh the stuff about you know things being due at 11 59 um each each time and then you can take the exam up to two uh, two times you can take quizzes up to three and um and and then it comes down to the comprehensive final uh, again, that'll be done um, over a 24-hour 24-hour period, uh, and that will be on Wednesday, July 26. Wednesday, July 26. So, what I try to do um, with my uh, course calendar is uh, to use this as as a planning tool for yourself uh, in terms of. Uh, what days you're going to have exams? Um, again, um, trying to make sure that you have internet access uh, at that at those time those times and dates, and that you can uh, uh, be able to successfully complete uh, the exams uh, on those dates uh, that are indicated in red. Um, with the summer, um, we. We have holidays. We have Juneteenth for the first time on Monday the 19th. Um, you'll notice that the exams are not all on the same days of the week. Uh, that's done. That's done. There's a method to that. Uh, and also, it's necessitated by the nature of the summer semester and our schedule. Uh, you'll notice the first two exams are on Thursday, and then we have a little, little more relaxed pace going into exam three. Uh, that'll have uh, the connect homework and quizzes uh, due uh, at 11.59 on uh, Sunday, the 25th of June, and then exam three uh, will be on that Monday, the 26th. Uh, a lot of the scheduling, a lot of the scheduling for the summer, and this is going to be true of my classes, uh, all your other classes uh, for this summer and other summers, is predicated around uh, July 4th. And boy, if you, if you happen to be... Um, running a business this is going to be a really really tricky july 4th uh because a tuesday a tuesday holiday ew, you know you know a lot of people are going to be gone on the third and on the fifth um from the prior weekend so that's going to be a tricky one and i tried to <laughs> be as flexible as possible um with this what i did was I'm sorry two two of these in a row talking a lot what i did was we have the july 4th holiday I, I did not want to make anything due on july 4th anything on july 4th but uh for those of us who will be here in town doing doing what we do uh, on a regular on a normal basis on july 4th if uh if, if that's your case what i what i'm going to do is for that fourth exam over chapters four five and three yes i reordered things um, that'll be due on Wednesday, July fifth. All the all the Connect homework and quizzes for those for those chap those three chapters will be due on uh, July fifth, and the exam will be due on Thursday, July fifth. This hopefully gives you flexibility around your own July fourth plans. Uh, if you find yourself Man, I can knock out the uh, I can knock out 
the exam on July 4th. I'm not, I'm not, uh, I'm not uh, one of these folks going to the beach or New Orleans or uh, in, in doing anything uh, quote, quote, fun. Uh, you can take the exam uh, on July 4th and be done. Um, if not, then you can, uh, this one time only, uh, turn in the homework, do the quizzes, uh, and then also take the exam on July the 5th. Uh, that's done just administratively, so it's uh, before the drop date uh, there on Thursday, July the 6th. Then we go into uh, the month of July um, with two more exams uh, on Thursday the 13th and then and then Thursday the 20th. That'll be that sixth regular exam. Yes, by by basically six weeks from now, you will you will uh, taken six exams, uh, six, six to seven weeks, six exams. It's a lot, but uh, the summer, summer does go by fast. Then you'll see on the 26th, we've got the final exam. Uh, the, the final exam will be administered online, that same 24 hour period, a uh, little longer exam uh, than, than a regular exam, worth a little more. Uh, and overall 17 chapters. And, you know, for me, the final exam is really for you and for, for I to gauge uh, how well you've learned and retained the material over the course of, uh, of, of the semester. Um, one good thing about taking a course like this in the summer is you have less time to forget what you learned at the beginning of the semester. So uh, I, 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 I don't recommend <laughs> trying to go back and you know reread 17 chapters that's not the intent the intent is uh let's let's see what you what you've retained and and learned and mastered and will carry forward not just for the final exam but uh but uh in in into the rest of your uh, uh not only school career but uh your your career career going forward um you'll notice on the 24th that is the purge day that is the purge day what that day will entail, let me go back to Mr. Syllabus. Dare say you have not seen something like this before in one of your classes or in uh, whether it's an online hybrid or an in-person um, um, class. The Purge, yes, it's basically taken from the idea of, of uh, how many movies they've made now. Uh, but based on the original, and there's going to be one day where there are basically no rules for this class. Uh, there will be one day um, for you to go back and take if you missed, try to attempt to retake if you uh, scored low uh, on a particular assignment, a particular quiz, a particular test and uh, try to improve your grade. And the purge takes care of all makeups. The, the, there, there are no makeups, it, the makeups in, in Connect. Uh, I, I gravitated to this because uh, it, it takes me about as long to set up a makeup as it would you to take a makeup in Connect. And so the purge was born of necessity when I started using Connect uh, a couple of years back. This works beautifully for students. This works. This is a great deal. Remember this in evaluation time. That's all I'm going to say. Um, it is a it, it is a way of making up anything you missed and and not just missing you know a, a quiz, uh, uh, one two quizzes, one two homeworks, maybe you know missing a test. Um, the purge you can take care of that. You can you can make up anything um, that you missed. But I think the purge, where I've seen it work so well, is for students who, and it happens, trust me, uh, had things, things, things happen uh, in, in my own life that have disrupted semesters. And so um, this gives you an opportunity if you have a bad week, a bad two weeks, mm, bad three to four weeks is going to get hard in the summertime, but possible. But let's say, you know, because of an illness be, uh, yourself or someone in your family, an accident, uh, a breakup, a uh, just 
bad time at at work or a problem in your family or with a spouse or loved one um if you just happen to lose a week or two or three then this is your chance to uh to to not drop to not drop and to have a chance to uh to make up the work with no penalty with no penalty i've seen students uh who really ran ran into jams and uh and took advantage of the purge uh greatly and that's what it's there for so if you have the opportunity if you need the opportunity it's there it can be minor in terms of just going in and and uh you know taking a few little things that you you've missed uh it can be major if you're trying to make up for some real lost time uh that can happen over the course of the semester with with life and work and family so uh it's there for you to use for makeups it's also there for you to i've seen students rescue themselves from an f to a to a d or a c uh and maybe beyond uh i've had students a, a lot of students use the purge uh to their benefit uh trying to improve their grade and i highly encourage you because anything you do during the purge any any great just like with the, the regular administration of the exams the, the quizzes the the homework uh anything you do during the purge the highest grade counts so you have the ability you know if, let's say you've got one two lower than you would like exam scores you've got a couple of quizzes that you either missed or did not do so well on you were in a hurry that night to get it done by 1159. Uh, you missed a couple of homework uh, assignments, maybe more than a couple. Um, you can use the purge to your advantage and, uh, and take that opportunity to uh, retake things um, that you, you did not do so well on, to take things that you need uh, to make up, because uh, zeros on any of this do not average in well. So uh, do take advantage of that. Uh, do take advantage of that uh, 24 hours uh, of no rules on Monday, July 24th. It's a unique thing that I do with my classes. Uh, and, and yes, what a country. Uh, we didn't have that when I walked up all through the snow to school in East Texas. So uh, that being said, let's uh, go on to the last part of the syllabus to uh, go through the policy stuff. I, I'm not even sure 12 is an accurate count uh, right now in terms of how many policies you have to review and, and click off that you uh, have, have read and understand. Understand them. It's there. It's there for a reason. But just take 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 take, take care of that. Listen to uh, listen to our shepherd mix out there barking at the squirrels. OK, uh, let me go back. Uh, Okay, I'm going to come on here on the video. Uh, if there are any questions, okay. Uh, Caleb Fontenot asked, how many attempts do we get on the homework? Uh, homework, is, homework is unlimited. Uh, so the homework and the adaptive learning, you're not going to want to do the adaptive learning more than once or maybe twice. Uh, but uh, but uh, you, you, uh, you have unlimited attempts on the homework. You have three attempts at a quiz. You have two two attempts on a test. Um, and Sydney or Rachel, um, your how many attempts do we get to retake a te test on the purge? Well, that's uh, up to you. I'm going to set that at unlimited. Uh, you just run into time constraints. Uh, we you, you you go to retake a test or two. Uh, or three, uh, and you're looking at you know pretty much uh, 45 minutes uh, or, or so on each test. Uh, you're, you're, you're eating up a good part of your day, and then there's that studying thing that has to come into play too. So, uh, but it's possible. It is possible. And so, what I do on the purge is just literally open it up, and you you have free access. Um, without any other questions, let me go real quick and see if I'm if I'm still logged in on Moodle. Let me just go take you on a real, real, real quick tour of, of Connect, which I hope you have had the chance to explore before to get into Connect. If you have registered, you can go click on that link. If you haven't registered, that'll take you to the registration link. 
very simple. All the basically, they McGraw Hill knows you're in this class. You do have the code. You you it's built in. So uh, what they'll basically have you do is register for a McGraw Hill account uh, and um, go from there. If you have a if you have a McGraw Hill Connect account already, you can go direct to that uh, to to after the first time going through Moodle. That's that's critical to go through Moodle the first time because then it associates you with this class and knows you have Connect in the ebook and and go from there. But uh, if particularly if you happen to have uh, two ooh, three classes. Uh, this summer, with uh, with all using Connect, you can you can simply go through your uh, your Connect account uh, after the after that initial registration through through Moodle. Let me um, do this. Let me show you what what you'll be working on. Every every chapter has got a similar structure. What I have in here first is something that's not required. This, uh, these are video lectures. These are video lectures that I've done pre-recorded. They're on demand. Uh, they're on YouTube. Please rate, review, subscribe. Um, help me get ads one of these days. Um, but uh, you can you can watch these videos. Generally, they're going to be two or three 15-minute videos uh, on on each chapter, basically going through. And um, and going going through the basics of uh, of the chapter uh, that is not required. It's going to show up here with a due date and time. Those will not be imported um, or synced into Moodle. They do not count in your grade. Um, chapter uh, you can see with the chapter structures, you, you're going to have first listed uh, the adaptive learning. You're going to have the homework, and then you're going to have the quizzes, uh, and then magically on Thursday, June 8th, suddenly this exam will show up for you. And the exams are multiple choice, true, false. And um, you've got basically a class period time uh, in which to take it. You can access the ebook through here. Uh, there's also, I believe, on the McGraw-Hill or Connect app, uh, you, can, you, can, you can access it more easily on your phone that way or a tablet but uh uh all of the uh, all anything you do in connect uh for this class i will do grade syncs between connect and moodle after each test uh and so do be aware of that your current grade on connect is not going to be weighted it can be thrown off um it, it can be thrown off a little bit uh because of the fact that um, what I have done is, um, in terms of making making the material available to you on a staggered basis. So, uh, so do just be aware uh, of of when things will become available, um, um, and and we'll work from there. But uh, your 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 grade is fairly accurate. It's just not weighted uh, on Connect. The weighting will, will be done when the grades uh, come into uh, come into Moodle's gradebook. Um, let's see. Uh, let me go back here uh, to Moodle, and we're we're, we're going to be wrapping up here in a, here in a minute. So hold, just uh, I I appreciate your attention, and uh, we had some good questions already. Uh, out here to the side uh, on the slider bar, you'll see each chapter uh, is listed. Um, you'll when you when you click on the chapter, what you will see. Are, are a couple of things. Uh, you'll see the chapter PowerPoints. These are very, very good um, to to have. Um, I guess um, of a certain age, where uh, uh, having uh, the physical PowerPoint uh, to study from. These are very detailed PowerPoints. These are put together. I will not lie. These are put together by the publisher uh, McGraw Hill. They're very detailed. They're going to be very good to study from. Uh, I've seen students in this class uh, previously do some uh, do some interesting things with the PowerPoint in terms of um, you know using using the PowerPoint maybe not as a PowerPoint but as uh, uh, taking key slide what what for them are key slides or 
key key figures from the book, uh, key list from the book, and putting them into making your own study guide, kind of mashing up the PowerPoint into a Word or Google Doc uh, to, to create a, a study guide for yourself or if you want to collaborate with some of your classmates. Um, you can you can certainly do that. Uh, Moodle has uh, an ability to email all of your classmates, um, and so just know whether to include me or not. I won't feel left out if you do communicate with your classmates and not me. Uh, and I know there are always you know these group me things and stuff. So uh, so, but just be aware that's available to you. You'll hear you'll see here the the, the playlist. Uh, um, for each chapter, uh, the chapters videos uh, are here, and you can you can view that. Uh, wow, we're up to uh, twelve hundred and seventy one views. So uh, so do be aware; those are available to you. Again, uh, rate, subscribe, um, give stars. Uh, I, I'd like to get ads. Uh, <laughs> I'd like to get ads. Yeah, uh, it, it helps with the revenue stream. We'll, we'll say that. Okay, uh, but the, the 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 video lectures are available here and on Connect. Uh, don't be confused by that in Connect. It's just there, uh, kind of as a as a as a gateway uh, for you to access uh, the videos uh, while you're in while you're in Connect. Um, but I feel really confident about this course. Uh, I. I, I, I like the way it's structured. Uh, you will like that you don't have to make a, uh, a, a semester project and a presentation based on that project. Uh, you can uh, thank me for that. Um, but I think the workload uh, is, 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 is very fair, uh, considering uh, this is a much shorter time frame to take the class. Uh, I think you know there's only so ma so many hours in the day, and uh, I think this will be a, a fair test uh, of your ability to um, to read and 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 do the work that's required uh, in Connect, and then uh, prepare for and take the exams. I will be making um, the weekly announcements uh, generally generally on the weekends, and uh, so just to get you geared up uh and might might be doing uh the one for next week a little early got a couple of reminders uh there to send send, send y'all but uh, probably at least at least by saturday i'll have uh next week's announcement uh up for, for uh, up and sent to you uh on both on moodle and uh, via email so i do hope that you have a very good summer semester uh if uh, if you need anything contact me um uh, primarily via email. If you need to do a Zoom meeting or so forth, then we'll work on that uh, and arrange something uh, mutually convenient uh, with us. Uh, I will say this just for kind of an FYI, because uh, it's caught, uh, it's caught, I've seen students uh, being caught uh, by the uh, university police. They are fully enforcing uh, parking uh, during the summer. And so uh, yesterday on the first day of class, when I was walking around campus, uh, the fancy truck was uh, out there issuing tickets. And so uh, do do just be aware, of, be, be do be aware of that uh, because uh, uh, that can uh, that's not a that, that can put a, a dent in 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 your student budget. I know. So uh, with that, I wish you well. I don't know. I probably will do something like this about uh, about midway through the semester just to make sure everybody's on track. But uh, I, I look forward to working with you. Uh, I think you'll learn a great deal uh, of very relevant information. I hope it, uh, hope it uh, makes you a little more interested in management, uh, perhaps as a major or a minor. Uh, and uh, then, then down the line, uh, some very useful tips and information and ideas uh, to know uh, in terms of how to work together better, how to communicate better, uh, how to be a better leader, how to, how to set strategy, uh, how to manage uh, with human resources, and, uh, and finally just be a, a better employee and a better manager. So with that being said, I'll, I'll end things tonight. Uh, I appreciate your time. I appreciate your attention and uh, 
Um, if you need anything, please do reach out via email uh, or send me a uh, send me a, send me a time, and we'll uh, set up something uh, on Zoom or Google Meet. So. This has actually been my smoothest one. I know you may not believe that. Uh, I've done four orientation sessions for the two classes, and uh, um, being a Zoom person, I'm, I'm, I'm learning my Google Meet uh, uh, running navigation. Uh, so this this one will be a little better, less painful for, for me to maybe uh, watch online. But uh, I will have the, uh, the video link up uh, soon. Uh, <laughs> I don't know if you want to. I don't know if you want to watch this again, but for uh, those classmates who uh, may not have been able to attend either one of the orientation sessions, but I do hope to see you um, doing activities in Connect. I do. Mo I do. Even when it's not a fully online class, I'm monitoring that, uh, and there's some there's some metrics uh, that are available to me in Connect. You can see if you're having difficulties. Uh, but uh, the first thing I'll do is just make sure that uh, we have 30 students in the class and that all 30 <clears throat> get registered because if you're not registered and working in Connect, there's no way to, uh, to, to not just learn the material, but to pass the class. So hope that's not the case. And if you're online tonight, I know it's not. So uh, I appreciate your time and attention. Uh, have a good weekend coming up. Hope you have a good, safe, productive, and uh, a, a learning summer. And uh, if you need anything, again, reach out. I'm going to stop the recording now. I appreciate your time and attention. Y'all can go watch the NBA. Uh, so have a good evening. Uh, have a good weekend. Thank y'all.